Two days ago, Lexus gave us the official announcement of the TX. They finally let the cat out of the bag that they have a three-row crossover named the TX. And now just two days later, we have the confirmation and teaser of the next generation Lexus GX. Let's go. <laughs> We got two images here, so let's break down both of them. I'm seeing this for the first time and I was not expecting this at all. Lexus didn't notify journalists that I'm aware of beforehand. So we have triple beam LED uh, headlights. Not a surprise. We know the, the current GX has trippies. Most Lexuses do have the trippies. Uh, the RZ that I've been driving this week does not have triple beam LED headlights, which lets you know that it's very much uh, shares a lot of technology with Toyota. I'll just say that much, but we have a very subdued and unique, uh, L motif daytime running light. Notice it doesn't like retract backwards that aggressively. It's more just like a vertical mountain peak. It looks like now check out the blacked out grill here. This grill looks amazing. Now black line edition of the GX 460 that has a black grill. It looks incredible if you see one out on the streets. It just looks so much better. Now I'm assuming to get that blacked out grill, you're not going to have to like sift through the weeds to find a special black line edition. Look how freaking macho this hood is. It comes up so aggressively over the headlights. Now the new Tundra kind of has a similar strong hood to it, but not this blocky and chunky. And look at, we, we don't have paint match fenders here because this is like an off-road style vehicle. We have black fenders here for, for durability. And if we look, holy cow, now it could just be an optical illusion, but look how vertical this front windshield looks. Could this be much more like an FJ Cruiser or a 7 series, 70 Series Land Cruiser sort of style? Or let's say um, if we look like a G-Wagon, for example, or the Defender, would they have more upright, boxy, uh, or Jeep-like? If you guys know what I'm meaning, uh, the upright windshield here, it looks like the GX is going that route, at least from the angle that we have right here. It looks so, so good, even just from this uh, perspective. I'm, I'm actually like multiple times more excited for this GX than the, the TX. It's probably because I know more about the TX than this GX. And let's talk about this paint color. This is a brown that I haven't seen before. We got this nice earthy brown and it's hard to tell since there's rain on it. It's hard to tell kind of uh, what it looks like in the daytime. Now, Lexuses have had some browns in the past, like Autumn Shimmer, but that was much more like a root beer sort of color with some orange undertones. This is uh, just looks like more of like a glossy brown, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some metallic in it as well. We have a blacked out Lexus badge here. We have, as well as the light bar that runs across, no surprise there. I don't think this plate has any, it just says maybe, a, no, I don't think there's anything cryptic in this plate with the numbers. I think it's just kind of like an advertising plate that they put on it for pressed materials. Um, and you also have the windshield wiper here. Notice there's a little hook underneath the windshield wiper, meaning that glass will flip up. Um, does that mean this will open like a refrigerator, like the old GX? I highly doubt it. Uh, the Sequoia that I had last week had a probably the same sort of setup where it'll lift up like Land Cruiser 200, uh, 300, sorry, Land Cruiser 300. You have a big old lift gate, like a traditional crossover, uh, even though these are full blown SUVs body on frame, but you'll also be able to flip up the gla uh, glass independently. So what is Lexus saying? It says the all new Lexus GX for 2024. It's coming soon. Hashtag GX. Uh, no, no more related images. Pretty sick. Not going to lie. Let's go over to the Instagram. Um, don't call it a comeback, right? When was the last time we had a new GX? 2000 and 2009, I think. Uh, all new 2020. So it's been 15 years since we've had a new GX. I think that's a possibility. I think maybe 2010 was the first model year of uh, the 460. Anyways, coming soon, Lexus GX. I will break it for you guys here on the channel. Is there any more additional images? No, just kind of like a, an extra a zoom in of that tailgate or lift gate, I should say. So what kind of powertrains are we likely to see on the GX? Well, <clears throat> GX 550 was trademarked. That's the only trademark we have for the GX. So think twin turbo V6, 
We're going to go over here. But keep in mind that the LX600 has 409 horsepower uh, and 479 pound-feet torque. Think of this probably as the V6 uh, twin turbo that is detuned that we see in the base SR Tundra. That would be my guess, so 348 horsepower. But keep in mind, this will take premium. It's not required, but recommended. And so it'll probably be somewhere around... I don't know, 360 horsepower, and probably you might be able to get the full torque out of it, but I doubt it. So probably around 415 pound-feet of torque. There eventually will be a hybrid, like the Twin Turbo V6 hybrid here, um, with 437 horsepower, just not available at launch, probably in 2025 sometime, maybe as a 2026 model year. Uh, rest in peace, 4.6 liter V8. It is buttery smooth. And rest in peace, six-speed automatic because it's almost a lock. Or I mean, unless they have another automatic transmission for these F platforms. We know that the new Tacoma has a six-speed manual. They're not going to put... I mean, I, I don't think they would ever put a manual back in a Lexus. But 10-speed auto is, I'm like 99% sure on that since it is locked in already on the LX600. What are some other things I've heard about the GX? Well, you're going to have uh, options of not having that third row. So there's going to be some more off-roading focused variants of the GX that you can get at the or, or from the production line. Essentially, you're not going to have to get that removed, let's say, uh, at the dealer. So that'll come in. You'll have options of a second or third row GX. And that makes sense because with the TX, you don't really need to have these equipped with a third row. And a lot of people taking these overlanding would prefer to have that third row gone to maybe make some more, even though it folded flat in the outgoing uh, GX, that third row, still it reduces weight. And then you also, in theory, might have a little bit more space for uh, your overlanding equipment, refrigerators, power packs, stuff like that. What I would like to see also is a Lexus GX that's kind of stripped out um, of most of the luxury, uh, offer it as a two row only, and then maybe offer a bunch of accessories from the Lexus dealership, either Lexus branded or uh, some Lexus approved third party uh, accessories to uh, kit out your Lexus GX. Of course, they'll keep around, you know, some of the luxury grades as well, premium and luxury grades. I think those things are going to be a lock as well, since they do already sell so well for the outgoing dinosaur. But just going back to this image, man, this GX is going to look boxy, tough, pretty sick with a blacked out grill. I'm really digging this new brown paint color, this earthy grayish brown that we got going on. Very rugged looking. Love the triple beam design so far. And I just can't wait for the new Lexus GX. I'll see you guys down below. Hit the like button for the Lexus GX. Make sure you subscribe because I will break this vehicle on the channel uh, in the flesh. I'll give you guys a reveal of this sick body on frame beast. Yes, the VA it is gone. That is a bit sadness to be honest, but the design on this is going to be so far past of what we have currently with the GX that it's going to bring a lot of people to the Lexus brand. They'll maybe like cross shopping G wagons. That's, that's how good I'm feeling about it just from this snippet, but I should probably taper down my expectations. So I don't overhype this thing to the moon and back. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.